I'm Andrew Edwards, you're watching Gear Live, and today we're testing out Dolby Vision video recording on the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro. Is it as impressive as Apple says it is? Let's find out. This video was brought to you by Setapp, a cross-platform suite of apps that keep you productive and help you find your flow. Stay tuned to find out more. So first things first, to get the full effect of this video, you're gonna to wanna to be watching this on an HDR capable display. So whether that's your TV and the YouTube smart app or a recent flagship smartphone device. I'll list some of the more recent smartphones that support HDR right here at the bottom of the screen. While several smartphones have implemented HDR before, like phones from Sony, LG, and Samsung, Apple is the first to roll out Dolby Vision HDR in a mobile phone or standalone camera. All right, so let's get started with the iPhone footage. You might be wondering what Dolby Vision is and why it matters. Dolby Vision is a proprietary HDR video format. HDR stands for high dynamic range and HDR video contains a lot more information than standard dynamic range video. A camera that can capture HDR video records more information about a scene, including a wider variety of colors and more visible detail in the highlights and shadows. The iPhone 12 records HDR video in HLG plus Dolby Vision. This allows the iPhone to capture an HDR, but also lets it output regular standard dynamic range from your Dolby Vision recordings, which then lets you view them on non HDR compatible devices and share them online on services like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, etc., where HDR video isn't yet supported. Because no current professional editing software is compatible with the iPhone 12 Dolby Vision metadata, this video was created using the HLG HDR base layer and then edited in DaVinci Resolve. Now, since I produce all my videos in Final Cut Pro 10, and this is my first time using DaVinci Resolve, we're gonna forego any over the top production value and instead I'm focused on showing you just how good the iPhone 12 Dolby Vision video looks. And I did also compare the iPhone 12 HDR video recording to a Blackmagic Design Pocket Cinema Camera 6K shooting in RAW and did an HDR color grade on that footage. And you'll find that comparison later in this video. That said, Apple has promised a Dolby Vision update for Final Cut Pro 10 in the near future. In the meantime, you'll be able to edit Dolby Vision recordings on your iPhone and iPad using the Photos app or the iMovie app. Now, before we get to even more Dolby Vision footage and the comparison with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K, I wanna take a moment to thank the sponsor of this video, Setapp. I've been using Setapp for a couple of years now on my Mac, and it's a fantastic service that when it started gave you access to about 60 Mac apps for a monthly fee, kind of like Netflix, but for Mac apps. Fast forward to today and Setapp now has over 200 apps that are a part of the service which is insane, but even better, they also recently started adding iOS apps to the service as well, all starting at $9.99 per month. That gives you access to apps like iStat Menus, which lets you monitor just about every vital statistic on your Mac. And one of my favorites for keeping everything running smoothly, Clean My Mac X, which keeps your Mac fast, frees up disk space, and keeps you protected from spyware and malware. Now the point here isn't just to give you access to a bunch of random apps. These are high quality selections that focus on productivity. The right tool for just about any task at hand can be found in Setapp's collection. But like I mentioned, there are also iOS apps now available on Setapp 2, like the To Do Task Manager and Step 2 for managing two-factor authentication codes. If you're a Mac and iOS user, Setapp is a game changer, giving you all the best apps and tools out there to keep you productive and help you find your flow. You can get a seven day free trial right now by visiting setapp.com or by visiting the link in the description below. Okay, so as you can see here, the Dolby Vision video capture feature on the iPhone 12 provides impressive results in brightly lit environments. Whether I'm indoors or outside, if there's light around, the video will look great and when viewing it on an HDR display, it's very obvious. When it comes to low light scenes, the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro are still a marked improvement over non Dolby Vision smartphones, but even 10-bit HEVC encoding can't overcome the inherent physical limitations 
of a smartphone sized camera sensor. So expect some compression artifacts when shooting in the dark. Okay, now for the comparison between the iPhone 12 Pro and the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 6K. We propped each device on their own tripods to get these shots. First, we went to downtown Seattle across the street from the Amazon Spheres. And this is actually typically where Amazon holds its annual hardware event, which had to be digital this year because of everything that's going on. So take a look at the reflections in the spheres and the buildings around them, and even the street lights and the headlights on the cars. I also wore a bright jacket and a hat that's so orange that the color wouldn't be replicated unless it was shot in HDR. Also look inside the sphere and you can see the trees and plants inside. If you're wondering why the sky is blown out, it's actually not. It was just a very gray, overcast Seattle day that looked exactly how it looks in this video. Finally, once the sun set, I stood in front of my home. Shout out to my Halloween blow up character. The sun was completely gone here, but you can still see some separation between the dark roof and the color of the night sky. I turned on a bunch of lights, which were also picked up along with the car headlights over on the right hand side. Of course, I'm here on the foreground and I've got one single light shining on me. Oh, and I also had the Boring Company's Not a Flamethrower in hand for good measure. My only feedback to Apple would be to reduce the sharpening on HDR video capture as high dynamic range increases perceived sharpness so it doesn't need as much sharpening as SDR video does. With that being said, I hope this is the first step in smartphone HDR video becoming mainstream, including adding HDR support to the most popular social video platforms. So there you have it guys, that was your look at Dolby Vision HDR on the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro. Let me know what you think about this. Is it impressive? Did you watch it in HDR? Let me know in the comments below and I'll meet you there for further discussion. Thank you so much for watching as always guys, I appreciate your support. I'm Andrew Edwards and I will catch you in the next video.